fuck was I talking about? <laughs> you were asking about the plot. <laughs> okay, so like I get like those two guys were like, no, fuck everything, <sighs> screw you guys. What are these guys doing that were like, okay, we need to take these guys they're, out? They're, they're Rebel Force members, and like, just listen to the fucking like. They say it in an a- or well, they say their name, but there's an accent listed. Read it in an accent. You personally read it in an accent out loud. This one? Yes. Oh, like he destroyed the city and escaped to the city. That was a terrible accent, Brady. <laughs> he destroyed. No, it's too late. You ruined it. Yeah, that la- that first one was way too racist, Brady. I need you to tone it down. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, so you guys talk. I'm going to be angry for a little bit. Okay. You can't be making fun of white people like that, Brady. Jesus. I'm not, I'm not going to respond to that <laughs> at all. So I wanted to go on record. The right chasers have been irreparably damaged. And this is like the laziest level in like arguably the whole series. Why does this make me want to take a nap? Because it's terrible. Oh, man. I'm sure glad I didn't jump like I was trained to do. Oh, did you collect something important? Yes. I couldn't tank. tell. I know, right? Seriously, you guys talk, though. I need to focus on this shit. Uh, this level, <laughs> like, these games are just full of stock art for the background elements, and it angers me. Especially the next game, but this game has parts of it, too. Uh, yeah, this one is, like, the last hurrah of backgrounds that aren't ass. I said a bad word. <laughs> Good job. Yeah! We're edgy, guys! Oh, oh, hey, the boss! Kill him now! I wish you could. That doesn't affect the boss fight at all. It prevents him from being a dick to you on the groundwater. Oh, yeah. Or I guess the ocean. I'm sorry, the sea. Mm. To That's which he escaped to. Yes, background. Yeah, but at least it makes sense. Wait, what city did this guy destroy? The city. Seattle. Oh, shit. I, I don't know if any other cities next to the sea, so. The, well, there's a lot of them. Well, you're gonna have to name yes! all of them. I One try on camera! Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy! Yeah. I'm never playing this level ever again, except for the other time that we record this. <laughs> <laughs> and that time you'll die a thousand times. Oh, hey, there's a bus. Was there a bus there? Is that a bus? I was so sure I wasn't gonna be able to fucking do that. I'm impressed that you didn't fucking die. This level is so terrible. Right. Now his pattern is gonna be perfect, too. Yes! Best ever. <laughs> hey Rick. Yes. What was the name of that right chase modeler? That one I, is the Adion, I believe. Adion, I think. And then the ones that are enemies, which are basically identical, are called Hornets, I think. Hmm. I need to double check that because X4 is terrible, and I don't bog my brain down with such unnecessary thoughts. Sure is boss fight up in here. Yeah, check all of this like difficult pattern out. I can't handle it. To be it's honest. just. Just wait until the refight where I'm doing it in green water. Spoilers. Oh, that's kind of cool. I just realized that there's a like an actual counter of how many shots you have left. Yeah, and for a couple bosses, that matters. I'm sure. So the point is that it almost doesn't matter at all. But, yeah, no, it's, it's a nice addition. I like the uh, general UI in this one. I also really like... You haven't really noticed it yet because I've only fought um, Walrus and Stingray, and this mm. is too informative, so I'm going to wrap it up real quick. Um, the, the boss bar has been the Repl Force logo, but if it's a Maverick, it's the Signal logo. Mm. And if it's a mini boss that's just a Mechanoid, then it's the Skull. So was that dude that's a Maverick or a... He was a Repl Force. Okay. I don't know. So, this plot is baffling to me, and I hate that everybody's like, this is my favorite one because it's so good and we're translated well. And I don't doubt that it's translated well, but it's fucking terrible and I don't care. Because it's like, we're not bad guys! Jet Stingray, go blow up that fucking city and then like run off like a bastard. He's not a maverick, he's like a fucking normal guy. And General is like, we're not gonna fight the humans. We're gonna just go make our own nation peacefully. Jet Singer, go blow up that fucking city and then like run away like a bastard. You get it, boy! It's like, what kind of good guy? Like, how could I possibly sympathize with you when <laughs> your lead guy's intro title is he destroyed the city and escaped like a bastard? It's like, yeah. I don't... Oh my god. I fucking hate Repliforms. They're so retarded. We will never know what city. Look, they're so noble, Rick. I know! We don't want to lay down our weapons unless we lay all the bombs down on your cities. Alright. You need different military trained to protect the supplies of goods. See, his 
is just like, he's just dude guarding his train. And yeah. you're kind of being a bastard. But that doesn't matter when half of the bosses are assholes. <laughs> so you wouldn't fight Slash Man? I, yeah, no. Slash Beast I, is one that I would sympathize with. The, the problem I have with the writing in this one is that it's not really fucking consistent, and it's really irrational. Mm. Where it's like, literally, the entire conflict is Colonel just being like, I'm a dick! Look at my chin! I'm gonna run away! Bye! It's like... Jesus, literally just come to our office and be like, oh yeah, we just like fucking showed up because like terrorists were attacking this peaceful city and we wanted to help out too. It's like... Except our fellow soldiers were getting in your way. I, yeah, I don't know if they're rebel force or not. I think they are. My assumption is that, yes, they... God, just fuck you guys. My assumption is that they are. But also they're just mooks, so it doesn't fucking matter. But they're on this, but so are like the wily baton tons. So it's like, I don't fucking know what the hell is up. X4 is not good. Wait, Batontons are on this train? Yeah, they were dropping bombs on me just a second ago. The Bombtons. <laughs> the Brady Bombshells. I was gonna say my secret love. Sax.jpeg web. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's named in my file. <laughs> Sax.jpeg web. Got it, Rick. <laughs> ah! Skillful dodging. <laughs> Face full of bomb. Awesome. Thanks, grenade. Like knockoff store model double. Oh, they are knockoffs of double. Double is meta B to everybody else's whatever generic metabot is. I never actually got into metabots. It's so good though. Really? I hope so. Yes. You watched like the first half of season one with me, Brady. I know, but I'm saying. Oh like, my oh god! No! It does look like Wily's hair, but made out of metal. Right? Holy shit! It's Dr. Wily. Look out! <laughs> he is the train. <laughs> And it does look a lot like a Wily machine. Like, look at how stupid this is. <laughs> and tell me you don't expect to see Wily's capsule come whoop, 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 and out of it. <laughs> Why does it have that, like, huge-ass platform on the front of it? What purpose does that serve? Ah, uh, that's for maintenance. Mm. That's where store doubles, like, grease the spear death bike. What is this thing's job? To I was about to ask that. Look, it's a Wily machine. What do you expect? Yeah, that's a good point. It's there to kill that darn Mega Man. It doesn't have a mushroom on top. <laughs> the capsule always looks like here's just like a... <laughs> the capsule always does look a little out of place. Yeah, because it's literally just stapled onto it. That's how Wily designs everything. Just staples shit on there. Yes, basically. More guns. More sharp, pointy things. We're making very not child safe. Rock is a child, right? Oh, he's got a gun for help. Oh, I really, I really uh, misinterpreted this situation. <laughs> oh, my throat already hurts. Oh, uh, I like those robots. You should take one. Wait, which one? Man, funny you mention it. Whoa, hey, it's pink. Why is it pink? Oh, uh, because it's the good one. So naturally, it's red. I like, actually like its legs a lot better than previous. Is it chaser, like right? three times faster than the other ones, at least? Whatever it's called. I mean, kind of. And yeah, no, I like these red armors. Thank They're you. called the Raiden, which I don't get because they don't do anything vaguely electrical. Like, the sword almost, but like, it isn't. Look, rules of nature is going to kick in, and then you're going to fight a giant spider tank, and it's going to be amazing. Here, just put rules of nature right here. What? Uh, there we go! Through the explosions! There's your cool red moment. Sure. I've been, like, playing on bike horns. <laughs> what? Yes. What <laughs> <laughs> on bike horn is an actual... <laughs> it's very important to me now. Uh, I love that you can only destroy these train cars easily if you, like, poke them in that one specific spot. Yeah, the butt. It's where the coupling is. Because if this is sci-fi, so there's couplings everywhere. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did I stab it? It's an exhaust port? No. In it's exhaust port. It's exhaust coupling. Oh, okay. Yeah, it has to be a coupling. Oh, missed. Oh, man, I just realized, like, why does the train stop so conveniently? It's like, oh, because it sees that the tracks are... Why are the tracks destroyed in their own base? Because Beastman.exe sucks at his job. Oh. It's the same design between the series. More or less. I like the noise all of the laser cannons make in this one. I also like that for whatever reason the lasers like stop being threatening the moment they're not wide, so I can just like ah, that's like a narrow laser. My face can go right in that. 
So I I eat the sun for power. I found the thread on Neo Gaff. Gaff, how the fuck you pronounce it? Neo that. Titled, We Now Live in a Glorious Universe Where Metal Gear Rising Songs Are Done in Kazoo. Awesome. We'll have to use that. Close Don't time. even play it now. Just we'll know it for later. Oh, and or that's where that pass song came up. Oh, man, you're kind of being a dick because uh, uh, you attacked my good guys. What are you doing? Wait, my teammate did what? Okay, you should probably kill me too then. <laughs> it's like, I've literally been on a train for the last... Eight months. Wait, Colonel's in charge now? Oh <laughs> shit! You should uh really stop us. <laughs> Why are you throwing fish at? Me? Beasts are weak to fish. Beware my tuna! Oh, is it like cats like fish? That was my joke. Yes. So he's uh, what's a beast? Just an animal, a ferocious animal. He yeah, he's savage. I actually really like Slash Beast. He's pretty cool. Too bad I killed him. I think they did a better job portraying that in Battle Network, actually. It's not the same character, you know that, right? Well, it's Beast Band out of Yeah, yeah I know, he but... He looks like, exactly the same. Yeah. And I think they did a better job with it, because he actually goes fucking wild. Well, he does in this, too, when you're not tripping him with salmon. Oh, I, I can't well, wait till we play the Game Boy version where he just moves so very slowly. <laughs> you got Neon Beast. Monster. You got... It's like half as strong as the X-Buster. Oh. Oh, yeah, you just get ready for this, fuckers. Okay. I'm prepared. Mm -hmm. Ready, play cup. Jesus, Brady's dead! 